Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome back to Easy Cooking. So today I'll show you how to make another Mexican dish, super easy and fast. This one is perfect if you want to celebrate Mexican Independence Day, but you don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I'll show you how to make bistec and cebollado. I hope you like it. Remember, you will find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video, and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. We're going to season the steaks with half a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, also add a dash of maggi sauce, and season this with salt and black pepper to taste. Make sure all the steaks are well seasoned on all sides, and we're going to set them aside for at least 5 to 10 minutes so they can absorb some of the maggi sauce flavor. After 10 minutes or so, now we're going to heat up a large skillet or griddle on medium high heat and we're going to cook the steaks for about 2 minutes on each side or until they are well cooked. So while the steaks are cooking on the first side, now in another skillet we're going to heat up 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and we're going to cook the onions for about 2 minutes. After 2 minutes on the first side, this is how the steaks look like. Now we're going to flip them around so they can cook on the second side. And this is how the onion looks like after 2 minutes. Now we're going to season this with salt and black pepper to taste. And we will also add in the serrano peppers, toss together to make sure all the onions are well seasoned. And we'll just continue to cook this on high heat for another 2 more minutes. And after 2 minutes, this is how the meat is looking so far. It's almost done, it only needs a few more seconds. So now we're going to transfer it to the same skillet with the onions. And we're going to cook this for a few more seconds, just to finish cooking the steaks. And that's about it. Once it's done, now you can serve it. And you can serve this with white rice and beans. But I'm going to serve it in tacos. And to go along with my tacos, I also made some frijoles charros and I'll show you how to make those on my next video, so stay tuned. And this is how my tacos look like. They are so delicious and the recipe is so easy and very budget friendly. I hope you can give it a try. Enjoy! To print this and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog. The link is going to be down below. And remember, you also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest, and everywhere. So all the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!